maybe read me. <clears throat> Fabled ruins and artifacts of Pamira, Syria fall into the hands of Islamic State. They took hostage um, Kali Asad. Look at that. Not mentioned it. So you would be. Solid. Hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> say this they allegedly beheaded this archaeologist, eighty two year old. Islamic State militants behead archaeologist in Palmyra, Syrian official said. They beheaded him and hung his body on a column in the main square of the historic site, the Syria's, Syria's Antiquities Chief said Tuesday. And that is, this dude can't find nothing much about him, which is weird. It's supposed to have a dash in the middle. Uh, according to his family, that's what happened to him. But who knows? He said he'd been detained for over a month. By the ultra-radical Sunni Muslim militants. Okay. Uh, Worked over the past few decades with U.S., French, German, and Swiss archaeological missions on excavations and research in Palmyra's famed 2,000 year old ruins, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, including Roman tombs and the Temple of Bell. For the city's capture by IS, Syrian officials said they moved hundreds of ancient statues to safe locations out of concerns they would be destroyed by the militants. In June, they did blow up two ancient shrines in Palmyra that were not part of its Roman-era structures, but which the militants regarded as pagan and sacrilege. Here's this. <clears throat> Shit. Islamic State beheads an elderly archaeologist hangs corpse in the historic site he loved. So there he is. Okay. Says in, saying the same thing and hung him up in a column. <clears throat> Okay. The continued presence of these criminals in this city is a curse and bad omen on Palmyra and every column and every archaeological piece in it. Abdul Kalma Karim said Asa was known for several scholarly works published in the international archaeology journals on Palmyra, which antiquity flourished which in antiquity flourished as an important trading hub along the Silk Road. 
Assad. See? Looky there. That's not his name. Maybe hint, hint at what they want to do to Assad. Maybe. It's the thought. Uh, he also worked the past few decades with the U.S., French, German, blah, blah, blah. Uh, same shit. Anyway. Well, that <coughs> this. From 2013. Girl Europus looted and vandalized by FSA. Uh, that dude. Yeah. Director General of Motherfucking Bitch. Director General of Antiquities and Museums uncovered a dangerous crime against Syria in its history. The systematic looting of Syrian antiquities by Turkish, Lebanese, and Iraqi artifact merchants with the help of SS FSA groups. I don't think it's maybe you stay maybe yes. They were illegally digly digging up antiquities and compromised the underground structure of the whole site. This is September 11th. The impact of war on Syria's archaeological sites and damage prevention efforts. The archaeological sites are witnessing the most violent and dangerous attacks because of the increase of illegal excavation carried out by armed gangs of looters within the co op cooperation of hundreds of people hired within Syria and from neighboring countries who threaten residents by force of arms. As a direct impact of war, some archaeological sites have been transformed into battlefields. Human representations in art are being destroyed by extremist groups. People who were displaced have taken refuge within archaeological sites. The refugees! The six World Heritage Sites were officially listed as being in danger or damage or destruction in June 2013. As for the museums, they have suffered greatly. A few objects were stolen from that museum and the Folk Museum at Aleppo and the museum in Hamak. My whatever museum witnessed the theft of only one object. Otherwise, the collections in all of the museums have been brought to safety before any damage could be done. I wonder which one item was stolen. Can't find which what object was stolen. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> the spelling of it. Uh Twenty thirteen. Back then, it's the Roman era mosaics and statuary were stolen from the site of the Museum of Apamea, and that the museum in 
Idlib, which houses thousands of 3rd millennium BCE cuneiform tablets, was in an unknown condition, possibly damaged by the fighting in the area or looted. Hmm. That's interesting, too. That was seen. What did they steal the one item of this time? Or, yeah. Oh, it's 2014. Where is that? Shit. Mm -hmm. And by that time, it was. <coughs> List of monuments damaged by conflict in the Middle East during the 21st century. Let's see. What do you mean? Afghanistan shit. 35 structures had survived 1500 years. The Buddhas. They destroyed the Buddhas. Let's see, Egypt, Iraq, Lebanon, Libya, Palestine, and guess who has the most? Syria. That's proud. There's another one. Can't remember. Hang on. There it was. In Iraq, Nimrud, the ancient Assyrian city around Nineveh province. Anywho, this, I think, these people were behind it. Sight. Just a uh, feeling there. Mm hmm. Because they're always behind all these fucking beheadings. Anyway, it's just my opinion. Peace.